Yo, what's up, YouTube? Menace Effects Productions. Um, I'm back with Reason 5. Just got on it, so I'm gonna give y'all a quick tutorial on the, the Cork Drum Designer. Pretty dope um, little patch they put in here. You know, gives you a pretty good feel with your MPD or anything that's kind of got like, you know, a drum, drum machine type feel. It helps give you a little more swing. You can customize all your sounds a lot better and things. So I'm going to give you a quick little rundown of the Korg Drum Designer, what you can do in it, and then I'll just show like a little thing I have, just a little quick pattern that I have with it. So now, now those of you that don't know about the Korg Drum Designer, I'm going to show you how to get to it. Click on Create. Scroll down, Korg Drum Designer, click on it. Here you go. So now, if you have an MPD or an MPK-49, anything like that, you have pads, they will play the corresponding pads for the drums. Okay, now, the corresponding pads, we have different drums, and you can see these light up when you hit each pad. So you kind of know what pad you're hitting and whatnot. Um, now, something that's really cool you can customize each hit everything you have so right now I have a, drum, a kick drum selected if I go right over here show drum and effects now here we go I can fully customize everything about this kick drum so I can I can adjust the pitch the tune different bends dampness the decay different things like that and I can come up with a different type of kick drum. Sounds a little bit different. Um, also what's neat is you can add effects on each thing. So if I want to put a compressor on here to turn this kick up a little bit. So it's a lot louder. The pitch is what's making that change. So you can add all types of different effects on here, different things, if you want to mess with the tonality of things. And now if I want to click on my snare, I want to change the way my snares are. If I want to put some reverb on here, go down to room reverb. So now I have some reverb and I can play with the decay, the settings, different things. So I can try to get the sound I'm looking for. So you have reverb, and we can throw a compressor on here too to get a little bit louder. So you kind of get an idea of some of the things you can do in here. Um, there's tons of things you can adjust different pitches, decays, everything. Just play with stuff so that way your drums sound a lot better. You can give them a lot more depth and do more things. Um, even on some of these, you can you can go ahead and add more kicks to it, layer things all on one pad. It's pretty neat all the stuff you can do with it. So Kong Drum Designer, pretty dope. I think I might have said that wrong earlier. I might have said Korg, but it's Kong. Let me go ahead and show y'all a quick little quick little beat I did with it. Nothing too fancy. So that's basically the Kong drum designer, uh, the new Dr. Rex they have, 
quick sample with some drums, factory drums they have in there. I just tweaked them and did things I wanted to do with them and came out pretty nice, so pretty good upgrade.